Good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to TG Jen's Early Childhood Learning Program. I am feeling quite excited to the point where I'm trying to make sure I remember every little detail that is important. If it's your first time, you're generously welcome because I love having you guys here. If you're returning, I continue to love you guys returning for further knowledge, information, so we can help our little ones to get past these little hurdles of reading. I must say and compliment the parents who have been actively involved in taking some advices and teaching their kids during this period of time. As you would have seen that I have put out some new materials and a lot of parents has actively get, get themselves involved with the, those little sight words and stuff like that. Now, you have, as parents, you have to give yourself a little credit for all the effort that you were doing. If it's, well, it's big or small, you need to give yourself a pat on the back because we all know it is not easy, right? So, as you would have known, I kept emphasizing on letters and songs, how important it is. We need to make the children understand those little songs. During my previous videos, we spoke about vowels, short songs, long songs, which would have involved blends and stuff like that and how to put it together, right? So with that, we decided to make little words, which would have been long song and short song. Then we moved into special songs where they would have become aware of just a drop of the special songs that would have been able to help them to read even a little more. Then I introduced the sight words where it's, it's there all the time. And when they get to recognize those sight words, it makes life easier for them to help to read, right? Then, we spoke about syllables also, how we can use the syllables to help them to separate or break up the words so it becomes easier for them to spell. But my why I am back here again is that I want us to emphasize a little more on the sight words. Some of you would have gotten the books. And so I encourage you to make your own sight words so the children could be able to recognize them in any format, any reading book, any story book, any sign, whatever comes to mind or, or they're seeing to read. So here I have a demonstration of how we can use little materials at home, you know, make it more fun than them, instead of them actually having to be seeing these books, these books, these books, you know. After a while, it can get a little boring. So what we need to do, we can spice it up, because remember, majority of these, these things here that we're doing, it's, it's more like nursery one, nursery two. Some parents are adventurous enough to introduce it to the three-year-olds. We have very smart three-year-olds who are um, speaking fluently, and so we wanna widen their vocabulary skills in using those words. Now here, I have the puzzle, the letter puzzle, right? You can take it out and you can make little words using the puzzle you have 
the, the magnets, the fridge magnets here, these letters, right? I saw some at the store downtown, very big ones, nice manipulative ones. You can go there and you can get it to buy. It's not very expensive, especially in this time now that you're going to be having to, to actually be teaching them at home. You want to make it more fun. So what by using the materials now, you'll be able to reinforce whatever um, is being taught. You have blocks. I know a lot of you got blocks, plenty blocks. Now what you can do, because they would have been building the blocks over and over and over, um, it becomes boring, some of them they get lost and so on. So what I'm asking you to do now is gather up your blocks. If you don't have enough, you can go to the Chinese store or one of the stores that's having these um, blocks being sold and you can get your black marker and you can write on it. See, I have my word, come. And so you can ask them to show you the word come. And a lot of things are happening here. So you're not only reinforcing the word come, you're also um, reinforcing color. You're also strengthening their fine muscles to just pick it up and stuck it, right? they can strengthen their fine muscles also you can have your index cards right you could go to one of the stationery stores you pick up one and you get your nice black marker and you can make words right and by doing the words also you can make it like a memory game where you can turn the words down and ask them to, so you see I'm turning my words down and then I will say, find the word come. There you go. He find, he or she finds the word come. And then you can ask them, can you show me on the block please? And there you go. And voila. And when they do that, you are making them excited. You want you they're enjoying the fun because first of all they're seeing a lot of colors of the blocks and they're picking it up mom what word is this and you are helping them along to find your words right so it's not about just using the books you can make it more interactive now i have here their magnets unfortunately we can't get them in the animal but I have here magnets. Um, this thing here that I'm using here, this little board is the mini board to the white board. I think you can get it from Munishwar also. You can get your, um, your marker and write the words. They can even write the words for you and then you get your, your eraser and you erase it out. So they have their own little white board where they can write the word and then make sentences with these words. So the, the entire activity becomes interactive. And that is what you're looking for. I think majority of the work she's gonna be coming, maybe black and white, so you can give them jumping colors that could get their attention. There you go, you see I have my, my magnet letters here too. So I can use them, you can use them to help them make words right also make simple sentences by using your blocks so you can write the boy come so you're emphasizing the word come so it is written here at the back on on your whiteboard So you have the boy come and they can just put it. Uh, where's come? All right. I can't find come. Anyway, so you can use even this also. I can jump. So you have I can. 
and jump. So there you go, you are seeing how you can use your blocks. So basically you're in reinforcing colors because some children um, don't get the colors too quickly. So this would be a, an, a really good time for them to um, use their colors too. So you're getting colors, you're getting the sight words, you're getting their little muscles working also. But most of all, I need to re get back to, they need to know their letter sounds. A, B, K, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, U, M, N, O, K, R, S, T, O, V, W, X, Y, Z. Those are your letter songs. So it's very important to know your letter songs. It's very important to know your vowels. Short song, A, E, E, O, O. Long songs, A, E, I, O, U. Well, I have come to the end and I hope that you will use some of the ideas that has been shared with shared and let it be fruitful because this is a new term and everything is brand new some children are going out for the first time some children are going out for the second time some children are going to be learning all these things shortly so let's get this whole thing running and rolling and having them reading we want them up and running and reading use your syllables use your syllables for the older children who are learning to spell big words please follow those um, videos and on how we can use a syllable to break up the words once again thank you for your patience and your time and let's make this fruitful and I hope that I can hear from you I have other, I have the books if you're interested and please like and share so we can all be caring people, caring for other children who doesn't have the opportunity. Share it with your friends. Be caring. Sharing is caring. Share with your friends. Friends could come together and discuss and help your little ones. Once again, thank you for joining me. Good afternoon.